Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast. This time we're in the textbook series. If you're using this textbook or a previous version, then this screencast will help you with chapter three. Chapter three is on web page design. So if you lean more technical, you're more of a programmer type of person, then you'll find a lot of good information in this chapter to give you vocabulary and understanding when you're working on a team with a graphic designer. If you're a graphic designer or you have a more artistic background, you're going to find a lot of basic foundational information in this chapter as well, but also some additional considerations for web pages, such as accessibility, how to make the information on your web page accessible to the widest audience, regardless of their vision or potentially color issues. You'll also be introduced to an extremely important concept, responsive web design, which means to make sure that your web page looks great on any screen size. Now, if you're in a web page like this and you can right click and go into the inspector that allows you to see how that web page might look on any different size of screen. And I'm going to go ahead and dock this pane over on the right hand side. It'll work a little bit better, I believe. Here is a toggle device toolbar button. If I click that, then I'm allowed to see how this web page is going to look on different types of devices iPhone or a Samsung or a tablet, iPad, I click it again, I go back to screen size. So you can check and see how your web page is going to look on different size screens. At this point, if you're doing the Pacific Trails Resort project at the end of the chapter, your web page is going to look like this. It's not going to look great yet because we are not applying any styles. You do see some difference in the styling. For example, the H1 is bigger than the H2, which is bigger than a paragraph text size, but that's because that's the default styling of the browser. So this is another chance for me to remind you that HTML, hypertext markup language, is only used to mark up or define the content. We're trying to describe the content with the correct element. Is it a paragraph? Is it a heading to? Is it an unordered list? Whereas CSS, Cascading Style Sheets, that's what controls the styling and the layout, where the content is on the page. And we'll get into that in Chapter 4. So enjoy Chapter 3, read through it, and expand your mind and your vocabulary, and learn what you can. And in Chapter 4, we'll get into CSS and start making this web page more attractive. Thank you.